slap, are you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI, let's watch The Fifth Element. I've never seen this movie, but this is one of those ones, kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean, which I just watched last week, that has always just been at the forefront of pop culture, and I just never sought it out. But it came out in 1996, which uh, I'm interested to see what the take on, like, the future was in 1996 because I'm sure I watched futuristic movies back then but The Fifth Element just never crossed my path. By the way if you want a full length version of this reaction patreon.com slash fwci is where you can get it for $5 redos a month and uh, you'll be supporting the channel and uh, you get access to movie polls and everything like that. All I know about this movie is uh, we've got Mila Jovovich in it, Katinka herself. I just watched Zoolander recently as well and she was fantastic in that. And that was, I think, how this movie came across my radar, to be completely honest. Bruce Willis is in this as well and... Uh, is this a movie that's got Chris Tucker in it? And he's got like a crazy thing on his head? I think that's this movie as well, but I don't know for sure. We, we might see uh, a random Chris Tucker with a whole lot going on in this movie. Make sure you hit the like button at some point during this reaction as well. When a moment comes on and you just love it, hit the like button because that helps the uh, algorithm that helps push me out to other people like a baby being birthed. Eh, look at my fifth element reaction. Uh, that's how that shit works. So if you do that, that helps a hell of a lot. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into it. This is The Fifth Element. What is The Fifth Element going to be? There's, there's more than five elements. Fifth Element, let's do it. You should never say stuff in reactions that dates the reaction, but I went and saw the movie Madam Web like two days ago. It just came out in theaters and it was shithouse. <laughs> It was so bad. Oh, and this, they had like a hundred years of Columbia at the beginning with all the different logos. That's what popped it into my head. But oof, she was rough. Bruce Willis. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Ian Holm. Don't know who you are. Mila Katinka Jovovich. Let's go. She's got orange hair in this. I know that much. Chris Tucker. Hello. You're going to have a wild thing going on in your head? Luke Perry. Shout out to Luke Perry. May he rest in peace. And uh, shout out to his son, who is a pro wrestler now called Jungle Boy Jack Perry. And yes, that's a thing. And he's good too. So 96. This would have been like, uh, what's it called? Independence Day would have come out around about this time. I guess Men in Black was around about this time, maybe a little bit later. So just trying to get a... a a baseline of like what other movies were doing in terms of like special effects around this time. Oh, we starting this in Egypt. Aziz, light! Hey, there he is. The ultimate evil. Make sure you get the snake. Yes, I've got your snake. Okay, I'll keep the snake in mind. Got it. Billy, what are you doing? Water, fire, earth, air. Okay. A fifth element. <laughs> What a delivery of that line. All right, so it's not like the periodic table kind of thing. Yes, you must be parched. Huh? What? Wow, he doesn't hesitate. He's like, get this water in you. Hurry up and die. A weapon against evil. What is the weapon? You can't drink a toast with water. <laughs> well, that's a bad omen, isn't it? <laughs> Looks exactly like it. Whoa, okay. 1916, isn't this? Whoa, man, this is like friggin' Halo or something. Are you German? <laughs> Love that that thing shakes its head. No. Stone's not safe on Earth anymore. It's a stone. That's the weapon? They don't want him to know anything about this though, do they? Um, yep, that's... So is that death? How can a person be an element though? I don't understand this. Oh no? Okay. It's a, it is a stone. <laughs> Fuck. I'm confused. Luke Perry, what are you putting? Put that little thing away. Look at me! Please! Put 
the gun down. Oh. oh no. Oh Billy, you just started an intergalactic war, bro. Wow. This is kinda nuts. Like he's like a religious fanatic, but his lord is this alien race that just pops in every now and then. Deploy inner ship stabilizer. Check. Right, it's prophecy time. You go are they gonna come back and help or are they gonna leave us in the lurch? Send out a probe. What the hell do they just do? Kill a son? <laughs> Demo, let's go. <laughs> because it is evil. Absolute evil. One more reason to shoot first. Evil begets evil, Mr. President. Shooting will only make it stronger. So that's what this thing is. This thing is... What the fuck? You guys got problems in the 300 years in the future. 200 years in the future now, I guess. You're right. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna protect the life of some 200 billion of my fellow citizens. Tell him, President Debo. Stutter. Yes, sir. I have a doubt. I don't, Mr. President. <sighs> wow, he shot anyway, even though... President Debo has doubts. Did you destroy it? I'm about to, sir. Instead of stopping this, man, you, you, you're the worst. Whatever your job is, you're the worst one. Whoa. Yo, man, what the hell is this thing? Up. Jesus Christ, his life is chaos, man. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting like exhausted just watching him sit there with all this shit going on around him. Oh yeah, I forgot. You still prefer your cat to the real thing. <laughs> okay, so tell me, how many points you got left on your license? Major, how many points? <laughs> At least 50. <laughs> you know what? You gotta learn how to lie better. Lost and bird Watch it all day, sweetie. You'll rot your brain. Radio Cosmos. <laughs> How futuristic. You have to push that little yellow button to load it. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> what are you setting him up to do? You want me to... <clears throat> okay. There you go. Could he just disengage it? <laughs> Mind, do you? No. You sure? Oh, take it. The thing on his head as well. I just realized what that is. Good work. That's a very nice hat. <laughs> <laughs> but what is that guy on? He is cracky as cracky can be. Five points left on your license. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we don't have that feature. To be honest, scan your license, tells you how many points you have. I don't know why you would want it, actually. Unless you were just a really shit driver that keeps losing points. There's nothing that can stop this. There is only one thing. And who is it? Is it Bruce Willis? The Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior? Holy shit, I didn't know he was going to be in this. Permission to enter granted. These traffic lights. Amazing. Oh, who the fuck are these guys? They did some damage to that ship, by the way. Oh my god. What? Oh, well, now we're screwed. Who were they? Oh, shit. We are connected to Earth. Who are you? Not you. You'll have what you asked for in a few hours. Good. I'll meet you at my factory. <laughs> Who's this accent having weird man? The rescue team has reported from the Mondo Shuman crash site. Any survivors? Only one. Is that what you call a survivor? Yeah, what the hell kind of survivor is that? Sounds like a freak of nature to me. Yeah. Can't wait to meet him. What the fuck is happening? Evil or just weird lights? What are, what's going on there? 
But Mr. Perfect better be polite, otherwise I turn him into cat food. Mr. Perfect is in this movie as well. Jesus Christ. Are we going to get the Ultimate Warrior versus Mr. Perfect? The Intergalactic Championship? So they're just going to 3D print this thing back together. Fuck. Alright. I was going to say, some things about this movie make it look like an old movie trying to be set in the future, but this right here is probably pretty spot on. I mean, the computer might look a little bit better, but that's fine. Oh, she is the being. Hang on, is that what they all look like inside those suits? Wow. What the hell is she doing? What is... Just readjusting and acclimating or something? Christ. Let her out, you fucking assholes. If you want out, you're going to have to learn to develop those communication skills. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> ah, he deserved way worse than that. What are these gonna, guys gonna do with their little sticks? Okay. Alright, he's a little bit too into this. your hands on the floor. Do you understand me? <laughs> she has no file. You gotta jump. Uh, yo! <laughs> she dove off. That just make like a rubber tire screech noise? <laughs> Of course, of course. You have one, one point, point left on your license. license. Yeah. Look out! Oh no, he lost four points for that? Or was there other stuff he lost points for off screen? <sighs> oh. oh, this is his new perfect woman, is it? <laughs> I understand boom. Bada boom. Bada boom, all right. Hey. <laughs> bada big boom. Big yeah. boom. Yeah, big boom. bada boom. Bada boom. <laughs> big. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, how you doing? I'm in New York here. Please keep your hands on the wheel. You have an unauthorized- So long, last point of my license. Come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Oh. I've only got one point left on my license and I need that to get back to the garage and get the cab up. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. Bruce, 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 Bruce. Thing is gonna kill me. Emergency! One point has been removed from yes, your license. Yes, I know! On your license. Like that would then deactivate the car though if we're going by like current, the way car shit works, but... It's fine, it's fine. 1996, let's go. Thank you so much. I us say, I do support these McDonald's uniforms though, Jesus. <laughs> Look, lady, I only speak two languages, English and bad English. <laughs> Wow. McDonald's, you really spent up on this advertising, didn't you? <laughs> it's literally burgers all over. Is that like a. Uh, hang on, was that a truck full of burgers? <laughs> this is quite the uh, escape right here. Yes? I'm uh, looking for a priest. 
The wedding's a wonderful day. Congratulations. Tattoo? You got lucky here, Vito. <laughs> Poor Bruce. <laughs> but, but, but gently, because this woman is mankind's most precious possession. She, she, she is perfect. Really? Perfect, you say? Perfect. Yes. We're all saying perfect. What about you? You want to get in on saying perfect? You're right. Sleeping You're right. beauty, I huh? Done that. <laughs> boom, big bada boom in the cab here. Look, like I drive a cab. This is me. Corbin Dallas. Corbin? Oh god. <laughs> How's it spelt, sorry? You can call me when you learn how to speak English. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, just kidding. Dude. Illumina la ketare balamina chai. Ek pat desibat. Good. Okay, yeah. Lilu. Lilu. That's her name, huh? Lilu Corbin. <laughs> You've been so kind, but now the girl needs some rest because she's been on a long trip. What? He wants to hang around and see what's going on here. He's got no points on his license. It's not like he can drive anywhere. What does Acto Gamut mean? Uh, not, uh, never without my permission. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry, I forgot your food. Oh no, you're in trouble there, Corbin. Now, come on, he can tell your old buddy Finger what happened. What, you saved the planet? Listen, you think the vendor Jesus, that's a big assumption there, Finger, but you actually nailed it. Let me have Corbin and Finger who, like, gab it on the phone like a couple of teenage girls. What? <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! She can put it away, can't she? <laughs> Stolen? Who in God's name would do such a thing? It's that Zorg guy there, this dude. Carry on, man, holy shit. Fine, sir. Sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> The eye twitch. All right, villain Gary Oldman. I'm here for it. Let's go. What an ugly face. Oh. That's better. Never be ashamed of who you are. <laughs> He's got a very thick accent in this. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Your time for revenge is at hand. Your time for revenge is at hand. Replay sends every following shot to the same location. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Famous net launcher. He always a fish and flamethrower. He is like evil Tony Stark, basically, but set 300 years in the future. This case is empty. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Mila Jovovich is amazing in this movie already. What the hell am I supposed to do with an empty case? We are warriors, not merchants. But you can still count! <laughs> <laughs> I believe a little compensation is in order. So you are merchants after all. <laughs> now, a real killer when he picked up the ZF-1 would have immediately asked about the little red button on the bottom of the gun. Wow. Oldman, you're an evil bastard. There must be a way of getting there. There you go, that's handy. It's nice to see you again, father. Ah, I remember you now. The art dealer. So-called art dealer. I tried to save life, but you only seem to want to destroy it. Oh, father. Let me explain. God, he looks so goofy in this. Look at all these little things. So busy now. Notice how this one is useful. That's an interesting take on this, dude. Water. Fruit. You see, father. <laughs> oh my 
god. Oh? Are you kidding me? Oh, are they children? What is he just choking on? Water? So-called power counts for absolutely nothing. <laughs> How your entire empire of destruction comes. This is a little bit evil of the priest, by the way, to take this moment to just start ripping into him. Fair enough, in a way, but also... That's cold. <laughs> oh. You saved my life, and in return I'll spare yours. For now. Thanks, I guess. Just bring me those stones. You have one hour. An hour? Fuck! <laughs> like satellites just being absorbed into it? Debo, you need to go sort this out. Although, I feel like at this point he'd be like, Why did you eat our satellites? And the big glowing thing would be like, What satellites? I want this operation to be discreet as possible. No troops, no big operation. I want your best man to go undercover. I have the perfect one. Why does it need to be discreet though? I feel like time is of the essence at this point. You are fired! Oh. <laughs> Hi mom. 17 messages. And don't tell me your machine is broken again. Those things are good for 1,000. Oh God, who's Corbin's mom? Ah, uh, good fortune for you. Time up on me. Oh. I like this guy. Good luck. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I feel like his flying boat is a little bit unnecessary, but I like him. Oh, so you don't know you want a trip to Flossed in Paradise for two for ten days. And I suppose you're just gonna leave me on the lunar surface to freeze my ass off. What? Corbin, what? they've been blaring your name out on the radio for the last hour, you big ape. Oh my god, she's the worst. You'll leave immediately for Flossed in Paradise. Retrieve four stones from the diva Plava Laguna. Bring them back with the utmost discretion possible. If it's discreet, why are they announcing it on the fucking radio? And why is there a radio? Couldn't think of anything a little more discreet, huh? Old tricks are the best tricks, eh? Yeah, I don't know about that. I agree. I am not going. Why not? What was that noise when she bobbed her head, though? Major, look, look just we gotta Major. hide somewhere. You gotta help me. You just gotta hide somewhere. We'd love to help, but I mean, there's only one door. Where can we hide? Only one door. Isn't that a fire risk? The three of us won't fit in there. Sure you will. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty fucked. <laughs> We're on a mission. What kind of mission? We have to save the world, my son. <laughs> It's a good old fashioned leg spreading. Sir, can you put your hands in the yellow circles, please? Snuff you! Wrong answer. Oh. All I have to do now is go to the airport, take his place, and I'll be in Floss in less than four hours. Don't come back without the stones. <laughs> Don't come back without the stones. <laughs> Hey, hey! Zorg really wants them. He'll have to. Everybody's going to Floston. That's where um, old mate is, isn't he? Uh, Chris Tucker. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot about the auto wash. There's an auto wash in that shower. What about the other guys that are still buried in the ground right now? Met you twice today. Both times, I've ended up in my arms. <laughs> he is so love struck. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> I'm impressed he was able to find place to fire, hide like five people in this tiny apartment. <laughs> Wait, Bruce Willis sold that. <laughs> I'll take the mission. Rest in peace to those guys. Uh, David here. Yeah. To come and pick up my boarding uh, pass. But, um, but now David has to go. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Lilu Dallas multipass. You know how it is. Bump into each other. Sparks multi happen. Yeah, she knows it's a multipass. Yeah, anyway, we're in love. 
fragile, so human. You know what I mean? Um, Coffeezilla? What's going on here? <laughs> it's the key to the temple. Oh, no. Prepare for our arrival. Oh, wait. They need that? Shit. Ruby Rod is broadcasting live and he needs you for an interview. Miss? What multi -pass. is this? Yes, multi-pass. Leave me alone. Oh! <laughs> Why is there a bunch of Japanese schoolgirls there? Right head, right on. Right on, right on. And. <laughs> and what I'm looking at? Intimate is this Thud Muffin's middle name. So tell me, my man. <laughs> you nervous in the service? What? That was a lot right there. So this is what it's like to win a competition in the future. Wow. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. With that being said, he does look like what mumble rappers look like these days, so what can we say? End of transmission. You're okay, Ruby. We'll see you tomorrow at five. Welcome. I just realized the cigarettes are like all filter. <laughs> no cigarette. Like no tobacco. <laughs> just absolutely <laughs> so great. I was to the just call, you know what I'm saying? Quite the performance, D man. What was that? It was bad. It, it had nothing, no fire, no energy, no nothing. <laughs> Play Pumba on the radio. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. Green. Dallas. Corbin Dallas. That's me. Oh my god. <laughs> I am Corbin Dallas. Sorry, sir. Boarding is finished. Hey. Wait, wait. Wow. <laughs> Power move. To make your flight as short as possible, our flight attendants are switching on the sleep regulator, which will regulate your sleep. Alright, these are some sexy ass flight attendant outfits and flight attendants in general. Me, fifth element, supreme being. <laughs> Me, protect you. Hmm? Sleep. Wow, what a great little interaction. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What? You're gonna have to assume your individual position. I don't want one position, I want all positions! <laughs> this is a very... This is a very horny movie for a PG movie that... It kind of feels like it was supposed to be a kid's movie and then they were like, let's put some tits in it. Let's put some, like, sexy outfits. Let's put a little bit of, a uh, little bit of raunch in there and it might appeal to the parents as well. And I think it was a complete success because this movie was popular as, but it's only PG and some of the stuff in here feels like it was meant to be more of a kid's movie at times, you know? Uh, Mr. Rod! Oh. You can call me Ruby. Uh. Was he doing something to her with his hair just then? Is that what I'm supposed to take from that? I am a little disappointed. Five. Jesus. <laughs> is that what that twitch in your eye is telling us? This will never happen again. I don't know. Lift off. Whoa! Wait, he can just explode his guys like that? Oh. Money is of no importance. <gasps> Whoa. Is he killing him? A Satan person. Is that supposed to be blood or barbecue sauce? So it's Hawaii. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Hawaii planet in this universe. Ah! Have we arrived yet? Yeah. Ooh. Are there any tickets left for this opera? I'm a really big fan. You have a seat reserved, front row, next to Ruby Rod. Oh god, do we have to spend more time with Ruby Rod? Hello? You miserable bastard. I never should have pushed you out. Huh? Oh my god. I was in labor for days and this is how you repay me? I should have just gotten a robot. Come on. You know what? His mum sucks and that's why he is, his name is Corbin, spelt with a K and an E. I recognize him from something about Mary. Shouldn't you be pretending to be handicapped or something, buddy? Who is that? She has beautiful eyes. 
Time to join Ruby Rod and Corbin Dallas, the lucky winner of the Gemini Croquette Contest. Coming at you live from Flauston. All right, boppers, let's get them. I'm just getting vibes of uh, the Warriors from that person's voice. To my right, a row of ministers, more sinisters than ministers to my left. Baby Ray, star, stage, and screen. He's not going to get much out of this concert because he's stoned up. <laughs> why, why are you there? By the way, I have a recording of a talented voice. <sighs> I play the rest of the song after the concert because right now... <laughs> He's the worst. I thought he'd be really entertaining, but he sucks. <laughs> Big wow. Thrill, 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 thrill. <laughs> so how did you guys all get here? Not what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like a pop concert. This doesn't seem Upper Ruby Rod's, uh, you know, lane. You know what I mean? She looks like a real opera singer, which makes me think that it was probably very unusual for her to be made up in all that kind of makeup than to do one of these, you know, really amazing performances. Put him in the docking garage and form security. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, how guys, I just need a little bit of help with my ship. Can I dock in your garage? I don't want no stones. Why did she wait until after the show to do all this? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, Lilu, it's time to go fifth element on their asses. Whatever that means. Some music in this part. Now it sounds like an 80s movie. Oh, 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 now we're doing this. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's three stooges now. If it's more they want, it's more they'll get. Bravo! 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 Bravo. <laughs> I like this movie how it flips back and forth between two different things. Alright, gave him the stones and then just bounced. But I guess for regular humans, these guys would be an absolute force. Oh. oh. Very dramatic death there, Miss Diva, but, uh. Shit, man. <laughs> this has gone really bad. Let's change the beat. Let's change the beat. <laughs> oh, that's a bomb. Shit. Just stay calm. Somebody hear this? It's coming at me. I'm in the first row. <laughs> <laughs> to save the universe. Leo? Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you got her. Fuck. Where are the stones? The stones. <laughs> Why didn't you give it to him before the show? Why, 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 why was your performance that much more important? He looks pretty happy. <laughs> They're not here. What? The stones, where are they? I was gonna say, he looked more happy than NASCAR would make him. I love NASCAR. Ruby, hold this gun. What? Hold this gun. What, 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 what you want me to do? Come on, put your hand on oh it. Put your hand on it. Got it? Hold it. What would I do? If you move, squeeze the trigger. 
don't feel right. I don't feel right, Kobe. <laughs> Kobe, I, I got a headache, Kobe. This ain't me. <laughs> this ain't me. <laughs> One of the stones? Wait, what the fuck was she gonna do? Oh my god. Oh my god, coming. Another one coming. <gasps> oh. Is that your idea of a discreet operation? D -d Don't worry, sir. <laughs> There's nothing discreet about this operation right from the beginning. The gun! Give me the gun! The gun! The gun! I'm gonna go. Guy's deaf, he can't help you with a gun, Corbin. Someone gonna give us a hand here? Where's the guy from his cab thing? Fingers or whatever his name is. We never saw that guy. Is he gonna help? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get down! Where's Lilu? Can she heal and come and help us out? <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Don't move. What? <laughs> <laughs> Away, Corbin. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clearly, I don't control time. Jesus Christ, man, they destroyed this place. Ten. Yeah, that's right. Gary Oldman planted a bomb and got away with the stones. There are so many different parties in this movie. <laughs> Seven on the left, five on the right. Jesus Christ, Bruce Willis. <laughs> We're sending somebody in to negotiate. Oh. Negotiations. Complete. Anybody else want to negotiate? <laughs> that guy is having a great vacation, by the way. The deaf guy. Yeah, I'm here. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's okay. Yeah. <laughs> the alarms will go off because all these hotels have bomb detectors, right? This is a type A alert. Ooh, now we've got a good old fashioned bomb countdown. This has got, there's a, there's a lot of 90s in this movie, in this movie's DNA. You can't stay here, there's a bomb in the hotel. Oh. I know. <laughs> this smug fucking answer. I know. <laughs> So now he's back, he's just gonna deactivate the bomb. Wow. Are the unknown? Oh, oh no. You should hold on. <laughs> Good work, Bruce. Good escape. I drive my cab. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Especially when you've only got five points on your license. Or zero. That's the best show I ever did. <laughs> no, it wasn't then. Although maybe it was. We're safe. Good president work there, Debo. <laughs> it's interesting that in such a futuristic time, the key to like, you know, saving the universe or whatever is this archaic like stone kind of like prophecy thing. Very beautiful. <laughs> I love seeing Tiny Lister in this role. It's great. Oh, what do you mean it's advancing? It's not only advancing, it's moving at incredible. It knows that we're about to get back to the thing with the priest and all that. 
You're a shining example of this army's Mr. might. President. In name of the Mr. Federation President. and the territory. Any idea when you're going to be getting to the point? <laughs> There's a ball of fire, 1,200 miles in diameter, heading straight for Earth. And we have no idea how to stop it. In an hour and 57 minutes. <laughs> I'll call you back in two hours. <laughs> Yeah, I guess at this point he's like, well, see you later, Earth. Let's go find another planet. Oh, jeez. War were declared. Can you imagine that? Imagine just absorbing an entire history's worth of, like, war in, in a matter of minutes. This one... Should be fire. It looks like water. Played enough Midnight Suns to know how to do this. These are elemental altars. That one looks like water. It's a way they're all very similar, aren't they? Whoops. Here I am talking all this shit. We have to open that one. And you know how to do that, right? Theoretically. You need the thing. You need the key. Fire burns. Yes, yes I know all that. Torch one, blow one off the side, knock one off. And what's the other one? Air? Levitate it? Too late. Too late? Uh oh. Yeah, ball, a giant ball of fire would probably warm things up pretty quick too. What are you still doing here? He's the worst character in this movie. Corbin! Corbin, it moved! You didn't do anything though, I'm sure of it. Okay, and I, I, I put my hands on the top like this. And oh, and he blew it. Right. Uh, Earth. Open the other one. Okay. Alright, good work team. Useless guy ended up being slightly useful. It was, okay, he's very useful in, in this moment. But his ratio is not good. Come on, man. I have no fire. I have no matches. I see nothing. Matches. I have no matches. I saw smoke. Oh, I thought that was already burnt out. Fire. All right, we got our elements. We're done. I swear, a real vacation, a real vacation, just you and me. But listen to me. If you don't do something right now, we're all gonna die. Do you understand? It's the use of saving life when you see what you do with it. Wow. So she's just despondent now as well. I need you. I need you very much. You're perfect for him. Tell her, uh, Corbin. <laughs> that guy's like, because I love you. Ooh. Damn, Corbin. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> These two are just making out. Is that helping? A. about cutting it fine man another classic 90s trope you can't have like an actual proper countdown it has to be just absurdly close to the wire yes what's wrong with you just scream your car I'm leaving <laughs> I agree with him there oh that was a great great way for him to exit we go live in one minute Mr. President mm -hmm. Fucking in there, aren't they? Some woman claims to be Corbin's mother. Well, give it here. <laughs> well, give it here. <laughs> On behalf of the Federation, I would like to thank oh, you. Please, that doesn't even sound like him. The president's an idiot, and you don't sound like an idiot. If you don't want to talk to your mother, just avoid me like usual, huh? I'll just throw myself in traffic. <laughs> Whoever wrote this movie has a complicated relationship with their mother, I'm pretty sure. We end with like a steamy, naked kiss. This movie had a very um, interesting tone. Corbin Dallas, fuck me. Does that go down as like one of the worst names in all of movie history? Because that is an absolute dreadful one. Okay, okay. This movie was way more of a hodgepodge of different 
almost different genres in a way than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting this to be like full blown, serious, like sci-fi and very sciencey and everything like that. It was way more more um, aimed at children than I thought it would be. It's only PG as well. I guess that's a, a big part of it. But then there were other parts of it where you see nudity and people are having sex and uh, what's his name? Um, Chris Tucker is going down on a very provocatively dressed um, <laughs> flight attendant. So there was a real sort of like um, uh, un unexpected nature of this movie in terms of what the tone was actually going to be. Then we got that very <laughs> serious scene with the, not serious, but just like a very different tone again with the opera performance as well. So all over the place and somehow it just seemed to click and it just seemed to work and it was perfect. I, it does hold up. I Watching it in 2024, I enjoyed it. It's, oh my God, how old is it at this point? 22 years old or something like that? Am I math right? 2018 years old, I think. It was enjoyable. The story was enjoyable in terms of like the twists and turns, but it felt dated. And the effects were pretty good as well. I'd say like nine out of 10 effects all held up quite well, but there were elements of it. Uh -huh, no pun intended. There were elements of this that felt a little bit dated. Like obviously we have um, Lilu as the, uh, uh, the fifth element and she's like, you know, the most powerful person in this movie. Every other female in this movie was kind of objectified or was sort of portrayed as a bit of a scumbag in, in the mum's case. That made it feel very much like a 1996 movie, where there's some stuff in it that feels a little bit tone deaf by today's standards, but it was certainly painting a, a different picture of, you know, existence and they did a great job of it, but they also, I think what maybe be underrated in this, maybe people, maybe, or maybe people do recognize this, they didn't go crazy changing the landscape and the architecture of things, which I feel like that's probably way more accurate than most futuristic stuff where everything has been redesigned and rebuilt. Like a lot of the architecture, and maybe that was just like a budget thing for when they were making the movie, but I kind of like that because it, it felt like it was the future, but it felt like it was the future of the world that we currently live in, which uh, again, I think that's something that a lot of futuristic stuff overlooks. Gary Oldman's character was Oh, it was good seeing him in it. His accent was pretty uh, pretty out there. Was he kind of pointless in this movie? We had a lot of different groups. Like, oh, there was Zorg. There was the uh, aliens that were trying to attack. There's the aliens that were uh, protecting us. And Mila Jovovich, I guess. There was the humans. There was the military. Uh, there was uh, Ruby and his people. There was the president and his people. Like... Just a lot of different groups in this stuff, which I found a little bit confusing, and I think maybe there were some beats in the story that went over my head, because a little bit overwhelmed just with the, the amount of characters that were in this. In fact, when I was looking at the, um, uh, looking for the after credit scene, I realized like the cast list on this is massive <laughs> sort of thing. So not without its flaws, but it's one of those movies that's just inexplicably entertaining and fun and like a moment in time. And even though there are parts of it that feel a little bit strange to watch for the first time in 2024, I can see why this was such a success and uh, great job with by all the actors, especially Mila Jovovich. She was uh, amazing in this movie. Bruce Willis was Bruce Willis. Gary Oldman was... I still don't know about that accent. Let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts on the Gary Oldman villain accent in this movie? Because I thought it was maybe a little bit too over the top, but that was in, you know, consistency with the rest of the movie as well. Chris Tucker's character was pretty annoying and pretty insufferable at times, but the, the scenes where that character was genuinely funny was really, really funny, and, uh, you know, he definitely deserves his spot in this movie. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you go to patreon.com slash fwci if you want early access or a full-length version of this one. You just press play and you watch along, and you can hear me yap all the way through. Well, I don't really yap all the way through. There's probably a lot of dead air because I'm watching it, but you get more context than you do on the uh, YouTube versions. As always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace.